last week I shared with you why you should repurpose your content and I got a lot of questions and comments about people who were excited about it but today I want to share with you what is content repurposing? Because when you can understand what it really is, it's really gonna impact the use in your business. Before we get started, I want to invite you to come to a free training I'm hosting on February 10th. This is going to share with you how to 10X your content in record time without hiring an expensive team, banging your head against the wall, or launching to crickets. And you need to be there because I'm gonna be sharing with you key frameworks on how I repurpose content and the keys that this is going to help you in your business. But today, we're just gonna go over a really basic what is content repurposing to get you excited about that make sure you go ahead and go to www.fdscreatives.com forward slash free webinar and get registered you don't want to miss it all right hi my name is Anita and I own FDS creatives and I help business owners harness the power of video to bring in new leads and increase their impact in their business Videos like this one have been a game changer for my business and I want that for you too. So make sure you reach out if you're interested in talking to me about how to do this for your business. All right, here we go. What is content repurposing? Content repurposing is the art of taking the content that you are creating and packaging it into other forms or smaller bits so that it can be kind of taken in bite-sized pieces. A really good example of this is a tree. I know, we're getting nature here, but stick with me. So I want you to imagine all of your key content as one giant apple tree. And on this tree, there are big, juicy apples, little parts of that content that really could stand alone on their own or to help to create that big message that you have. I don't know about you, but the apple tree itself, while great, and the big picture, what I really love about real-life apples is turning them into apple pie. This is a great understanding of what content repurposing is. It's taking those bite-sized pieces and sharing them in smaller parts, whether that's you're presenting the apple as a nice snack or you're transforming that content into smaller pieces like an apple pie, apple a la mode, or maybe you're sauteing that apple in a little bit of coconut oil, sprinkling a little cinnamon, and having that for breakfast. There's so many other ways you can do it. You can either slice it with peanut butter. Guys, the list goes on and on of what you can do with the apple. But you've heard the adage, an apple a day keeps the doctor away, right? Apples can be really beneficial to keep you in a healthy range. Why do I bring up this adage? Because I want you to apply this to your business. An apple a day brings the clients in. That's right. When you're sharing one key part of your message each and every day, you're consistently putting out trust building content, you are then able to convert those clients into customers that are working with you consistently and that see the value of the movement that you're building. Okay, I know what you might be thinking. Consistent? Consistent in my content? Okay, so what does that look like? You need to be posting at least once a week on YouTube. More is, of course, helpful. Each social media platform, I recommend you be on once a day or multiple times a day, depending on your business. And to create that kind of amount of content, you really need to have a plan. Because let's be honest, for you to be the business owner and be doing all of the things you need to do, you cannot spend all your time creating videos and creating blog posts and writing emails and creating social media posts. You can't. You won't have time to do the things that you need to do. You need to be able to grow your business in multiple unique ways. And there's five functions every business needs to be able to succeed. I'm gonna share those with you because I want you to see what it is you need to have time for. All right, the big five core functions of any business. Number one, lead generation. This is bringing new people into the business. Two, 
lead conversion, how you're taking those leads and converting them into paying clients or customers. Number three, a lead nurture. This is how you're continuing to invest in the people that you have. Number four, fulfillment. How it is that you are continuing to fulfill the services that you've been contracted to do or provide the product that you have been contracted to give. And the last, Number five is retention and upsell. See, you don't want people just coming and working with you once. You really want to foster that relationship and grow the ability for those clients and customers to be repeat as well as be able to share them new offers that they need. All right. You might be overwhelmed with those five things, but what I don't want you to do is be spending all of your time creating content. You need to have two to three core messages that you're sharing with your audience, and I want you to then take pieces of that and continue to share. This is how you're gonna build authority in your space and be able to continue to nurture those leads as well as have time for fulfillment, retention, and continued lead generation. See, I get it. There's so many things we need to do as business owners. And as my business has grown, I have relied more on content repurposing to ensure that I am being able to successfully share my key messages and make sure that my audience has continued to be nurtured to know what it is that I do. So as you are repurposing your content, know that there are so many options. I do have a list of 25 different ways that you can repurpose your content and I'll drop the link below for you to get that. But when you look at that list, if you feel overwhelmed, know that I am here to help you whether you need support in learning how to do this yourself or if you want done for you services. To give you some quick ideas, you can take this video, chop it up, make it into many small pieces. You can then transcribe it, make it into blog posts. Then I want you to go ahead and make graphics and quote graphics and copy for social media. It can turn into your emails as well. You can create stories, TikTok videos, and also you can re repurpose this exact video and place it on other platforms to get views. Guys, I've developed a framework so that you can do that so you don't look like you're spamming everywhere and you're being able to share that in key steps so that people can know what your message is, but it doesn't look like you just made one video and dumped it everywhere. Because you wanna be a great business owner. You want your marketing to be awesome and you want to continue to look like a thought leader and an innovator while still working smarter and not harder. So if you wanna learn all about that, you need to make sure that you're at my training on February 10th. Go to www.fdscreatives.com forward slash free webinar. You wanna be there. You don't wanna miss this. And yes, I'm gonna be giving away prizes, so make sure you're there. Okay, as always, I want you to go ahead and subscribe to this channel, hit the bell so you're notified with new content, and don't forget to comment below and tell me all about you and your business and how you think content repurposing is gonna help you. One last thing, I need you to know that content repurposing is not copy and paste. It is not taking the one thing and again, putting it everywhere. I know I shared a little bit about that, but I just wanna be clear. Content repurposing is a strategy that could change your business and give you the time not only to make sure that you are seeing all the places, but also make sure that you don't miss dinner or that basketball game. And you're available for that call you need to take for your client and you're also there to help your team. Yes, this can be the difference between you having more time and knowing how to do this well can save you the ability of hiring an expensive team. Thank you for tuning in. And as always, I truly care about you and your business. I want you to succeed. So my goal is to continue to share with you key information that's going to help you and your business. Feel free to reach out if you'd like to chat. I'm also found on Facebook as well as Instagram. And we can always connect right here in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.